Hey guys, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we are going to talk about the live stream for patch 2.4. It's going to be called Fleeting Colors in Flight. And oh boy, this is going to be a big patch. We've got quite a lot of things. So here's a summary of what's going to happen. First up, let's talk about character banners. For the first phase, we've got two characters. As you can see, it's Shenhei and Shao. And Yunjin, the new 4 star characters will be available in both of these banners. So it's going to be, and I'm pretty sure the Pity Sitter is pretty much similar as how um, Albedo and Eula's banner worked. And for the second half, we have Zhongli and Ganyu. They're both coming back. Uh, I did not expect to see Zhongli back again. Uh, and, and Ganyu is back as well, together. Um, so this is going to be a very difficult choice to make. Uh, but as an F2P, uh, if you do not have either any of these characters, my advice as an F2P player myself, I would recommend you go for Zhongli. Go for Zhongli. He is a must-have if you're an F2P. He is going to be a great help for your team so for a weapon there's only one weapon one new weapon called the calamity quailer this is pretty much uh shin Hei's weapon shao already has his weapon which is the primordial jade spear uh zhongli also has his weapon however i think people are now giving him the staff of homa uh for ganyu is probably still gonna be the animus bow but yeah this is the new weapon only one new weapon as an F2P, don't go for a weapon <laughs> uh, unless you have spare primal gems to spend, then that's okay. Alright, let's move on to the next part. During patch 2.4, Chi it's the Lantern Rite Festival, which is pretty much Chinese New Year, uh, Mihoyo's version of Chinese New Year. So we've got a new event, which is pretty much a firework event. Uh, you're pretty much crafting a firework. So the next event would be kind of like align the item to get the shape of the shadow or rather get the shadow to be the shape fighting events uh, you need to fight and interrogate some treasure hoarders to investigate do some investigation and then we've got some boss fight this is probably related to the archon story we get this one again we get to choose a four star character and that includes yunjin as well we've also got free skins or rather a free skin for Ningguang. Ningguang is going to have her own skin. Keqing is also going to have her own skin. However, it's only a limited time offer. Uh, pretty much going to be like how the Jin skin is, whereby you have to buy Genesis crystals. This is the overall event of the Lantern Rite Festival. And we're going to get 10 Prime Pan free intertwined fate. So that's pretty much the Lantern Rite Festival. We move on to things outside of Lanterite Festival. So here's another event. We've got a study in potions. So the next event is going to be back in Inazuma. It's called the Eight Local Mountains and Seas. Wind Trace Festival is back guys. So this is the event where you play hide and seek. Literally hide and seek. So for story content, the Archon Quest, we're going to get a new area in Inazuma. So this is going to be a new this is going to be the archon story uh it's going to involve the abyss and a new abyss lector is going to be here as well yeah he's also called an abyss lector he's going to be a pyro abyss lector yeah that's pretty much the highlight we've got new enemies as well a new area comes with new enemies so that is the, that's it in a nutshell hope you enjoyed what you've seen if you did do me a favor like the video if you're new why not subscribe and as always guys stay safe and never give up your dreams and i will see you in the next one bye everybody